Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Isaac. We are jumping in again. This time we are checking out, we've got a little Eden run going. We're checking out the book of Genesis. Removes a random item and spawns three items of the same quality. Only one item can be taken. I like the idea of this. It could be pretty cool. So for example, we come in here, we get a pretty terrible item. Um, oh, thank you for the flight. We get a pretty terrible item here. And then I think if we use our book, yes, we can remove it and swap it for something else. So I'm definitely going to take Dirty, uh, Dirty Mind over this. I think Dirty Mind's the best one there. But obviously, the problem's going to be that sometimes we'll get an item we really like, and it's going to remove that item itself and swap it for a different one. So there's a bit of risk involved here of, like, keeping the items you want to keep. But also, at the same time, um, it is, like, the more items you get, the higher chance you've got of removing other items other than the one you want to keep. So it's not all bad, but it is going to be a bit of risk. And I don't know, it just it's kind of one of those runs where we're just going to be kind of swapping over things quite a lot. We also started, because we're Eden, we started with Mum's Contact as well, which is a pretty good item. I did test to see if you could use the book on Mum's Contact. Unfortunately, you can't, which is probably fine. I think Mum's Contact is quality two, isn't it? Or is it quality three? I don't remember. I really don't remember. It's either quality 2 or quality 3, so it would have been good to try and re-roll that for something else, but honestly, it's a pretty good item. I'm reasonably happy with it. As for the question of the day today, are you guys excited for the Isaac Online update? It's coming in just a few days. In fact, it might be out the day of or the day or the day after this video goes out. I'm not entirely sure when this video is going to go out, but it'll be out very, very shortly um, after this. And yeah, I'm, I'm honestly pretty excited about it. I've got a few video ideas in the works for it. Um, but my main, my main issue right now is, is it going to support mods at all? I expect it won't, uh, but that, that is definitely going to throw my plans a little bit out of whack. Basically, at the minute, the main idea that I've got in my head is I'd like to do some Isaac training sessions, where essentially, um... I bring in viewers, uh, people that are, that are okay being on mic and are over 18, um, that would like to basically learn Isaac better um, and bring them on for a video and basically we play a co-op run together even if it's unmodded I will I will try some unmodded runs and we'll just play together and and basically assess some decisions and sort of find out where you're going wrong find out where you can improve your your gameplay um, and and sort of yeah like a teach sort of teachable moment but then also on top of that I think it will help um, it will help people that are watching to improve at the game as well. So that's kind of the idea that I've got in my head right now. And I'll maybe do that like once a week um, as like a sort of side series. Uh, I think that could be kind of fun. Um, it'd be fun to just play with viewers and have viewers on the channel in general anyways. But yeah, it'll definitely be fun to um, be able to have some some videos where I help people learn how to get better at Isaac. And basically what, what the gist of that will be is I'll basically play and I'll be there alongside to kind of work through the rooms with you but i'll essentially make let let the let the viewer make most of the decisions in the run and then um i'll assess like why they're wrong or what could have been done better or various things like this if, they, if there's like an item they don't want to take or like various things like that i'll sort of assess different things and it can be things like teaching teaching you when to use the shop teaching you how much money to spend or when to use sack rooms teaching you where secret rooms are likely to be located stuff like that I think um, it'll just lead to um, people getting better at the game. And I think it's a fun idea. I mean, I've got like well over 2,000 hours in this game now. So as much as hopefully my knowledge does come across and is shared through these videos, I think it'll be even better when it's like that. Okay, so let's pop this again now and see what we get. Um, ooh, hello, hello. So I think... <sighs> I think I'm going to take the Midas Bombs just because it gives us money outright and then we can buy more items. And I'm going to check for Secret Room as well. Hey, we want one of the chocolate bars. Um, Feastables is an active. If you use it, you get 10 coins, but if you use it again on the same floor, the coins will be removed from the next floor. Fortunately, it's not that good for us, but one of the chocolate bars that we showed off in the last episode. Pretty cool to see. I'm pretty sure Secret Room's right here. And we unlocked Coffins, apparently, which I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to already have unlocked. Supposed to have everything unlocked, so yeah, a bit, bit odd, but there you go. Right, keep going to the next floor. We're doing okay HP-wise here. And yeah, we're, we're very much going to be just spamming our book whenever it's ready, and 
swip swapping our items quite a lot. I think that could be kind of fun. Um, I was going to go alt path, but I don't quite have the uh, the keys for it, unfortunately. But we might be able to go alt path after this floor if the keys come along. Uh, now, we can use these Midas Bombs to gain more money if we get more of them. Um, but I'm not going to be super focusing on that right now. That was a very, very bad hit there. Hey, come on, my little bee friends. Honestly, Dirty Mind is one that I would not want to lose. I really think Dirty Mind is higher than quality one. Definitely feels like a quality two item. Unfortunately, I did start with pretty rough stats here, so we're hoping for some stuff that can really bring us out of the depths here. Forever Alone you dropped, don't you? I'm pretty that's sure that's why your face is like that. Forever Alone meme. Unfortunately, the dips aren't actually going to be super useful here. Because they'll just kind of bonk off of him. But once we get him split up more, it'll start to help. They'll just kind of die as they make contact with him, as you can clearly see. Luckily, I left some poops in that other room that we can use to regain our army. Regrow. But as you can see, it's helping out. If we just stay within the sort of horde, we can keep away from most of the nasty, uh, nasty damage that could be output onto us. Item? Nah, no item. Rem uh, rooms are flooded and have... N kind of an interesting idea. Oh, I'm not going to take that because I just don't really need it. But that's a really cool trinket, to be honest. Being able to flood rooms, because like... There's a bunch of electric-based items that gain bonuses in water, such as um, Jacob's Ladder. Like, that would be really good for situations like that. Man, these, these enemies are, uh, are rough, especially when that my dips can't really reach them very easily. The flying ones luckily can get over there and do a bit more, but still, it's not an awful lot. Hey, there's a key. So it's looking like we'll be able to do an alt path run if we should so choose, which I'd kind of like to do. Oh, that was a very bad hit. Luckily, that guy hit me while I was on iframes. Oh, nope, he hit me again straight away. God damn. Some of these enemies are very, very ruthless. Oh, come on now. Let's stop taking bad damage, shall we? Just, 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 just get rid of this guy. Get him out of my face. Give me all the bee friends. Unfortunately, there is a, a, a limit to how many dips you can have, as you can hear. When I destroy another poop, some of them die. There's not a super harsh limit. Obviously, you can still have quite a lot. Right, pop this again. And we did not get three items to choose from there, which is weird. Um, we did unfortunately lose our Midas Bombs, though, but that's fine. Um, okay, we'll take this. Things that give us items, like five bombs or money, is a really good one to take early. Because um, it, it just bolsters our consumables very nicely. Luckily, Dirty Mind has not... I just want to check, actually. Um, with this book, removes a random item. Okay, it does say random. I was just thinking maybe it's the most recent item picked up, because so far it's always been the most recent item. But I think I've just gotten fairly lucky, actually. I've just managed to get lucky. I'll save this uh, death card for the next room. Lovely. Bombs there, Nice. In fact, I know that I said I was going to go alt path, but I was going to say I wanted to check this out and there was a key in here anyways. Pretty happy about that. Death makes that a little easier. God damn dirty mind, you beast. Now, George is pretty good for us here as well. Extra red runes, but it's retroactive, so unfortunately... It's not, uh, sorry, it's not retroactive, so unfortunately it's not going to affect the rooms that we've already been in. We've got to go to new rooms. The horn, unfortunately we are very much out of dips here, and these guys are blinking like crazy. What is happening with them? Yeah, unfortunately we're out of dips here, so that's a bit of a, a bit of a problem. Dude, I can barely see you. You're blinking in and out of existence. Lovely. Easy going. And we get ourselves the Rainbow Fragment. We did indeed get ourselves a Devil Deal here, which is pretty good. I will check inside here. Uh, pet, like, quality three, I want to be taking that. Ooh, man, we got some good stuff there. Right, okay, so now we pop this again. And it, unfortunately, we lost, uh, oh no, we didn't lose Dirty Mind, we lost our Peeper's Eye. Okay, so... 
In this case, I think we want to go with this because this is a direct look up. I know that sounds weird, but like we, we just get a look up there that can't be taken away from us. So I think that's probably the better option there. But now we have, I think, both George and Pet Peeve are both quality three. So if them ones get re-rolled, we can get some pretty interesting items. I might keep a good amount of health here. I will crack this open. Didn't crack the mirror, luckily. We do want to go there. We've got the boiler floor here. We do like the boiler floor. Boiler feels like vanilla now. This is what I mean about, like, the like if online doesn't support mods, it's going to be weird because there's so many mods now that are just, like, feel vanilla to me that I'm going to really miss. God damn, our damage is rough. We really, really need some damage ups because three fire rate is not great. 2.8 damage is abysmal for, the, for, for how far we are into the game already, like... We really need just a single, like, pentagram or something to keep us going, because next floor, floor after, it's going to get to the point where we can barely kill stuff. Experimental pill. I was like, I'll take it, because it could be a tears up. That'd help immensely. It's a tears down. Oh, man. Game do be being mean right now. It do be being mean. hate to see it. But it's not like we're struggling too bad. It's just, it's a little rough, but we can deal. Key please would be nice here. Ooh, what the hell? A little vent opened there and threw something out. I didn't know that could happen. It, oh, wait, that's, not, that's an enemy. That's why. Hey, there's a the key. And I will go for the reroll here. And we got Grants the effect of a random mapping item every floor. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Hey, and we got a red room here. This could be a high quality item. Or it could be a low quality one. You never know. Oh, God. Yeah, we're not able to kill stuff quick enough to not take damage in some of these rooms, which is uh, not ideal. Oh, look at this. Look how many shots it's taking to kill this guy. Oof. Oof, my goof. Okay, this is good. We're, we, we could lose it. But this is good because we now have quality 4, so let's do it and hope we don't lose it. We didn't lose it, and now we get Succubus as well. Okay, good stuff. So we, what did we lose there? We lost a uh, quality 3. What was our quality 3 again? It was that we went from the Devil Deal, right? I don't remember what that was now. Still though, our damage has just increased drastically, our damage output. Unfortunately, our fire rate has not changed. This is good, and now we have a quality 4 item in the mix, which is just good to have. Because if it does get re-rolled, at least it gets re-rolled into other quality 4 items. You are going to be a bit of a pain. You like to throw your shit everywhere, don't you? I okay, got rid of one of the thingies, at least. Oh, dude, this guy is, uh, is dodgy. As in, he's good at dodging. <laughs> We got dark chocolate or sacrificial chalice. Um, that's a active item. Okay, we'll just leave both of those. Unfortunately, that's not they're not really working for us. Uh, I'll pop down here. Why not? I'm not planning on going the whole way down the mother route, but oh damn it, we got one of these tinted rocks from our trinket. There you go. Got through in the end. Unfortunately, I have a bomb for that. That was a bit of a shame. Okay, we now have uh, some mapping every floor as well, which is really nice. Ooh, these guys are new. Oh, we got tiny little baby tears now. Yeah, having a random mapping item every floor, that's an amazing shop item. I love mapping items. I do not complain about that at all. Nothing to complain about there. Okay, you guys are going to be a little annoying. Thank you, Succubus, for getting some extra damage in for us there. We got quality two. What we got going on here? We got speed up. Entering a room creates a brimstone circle around the player for 10 seconds. When killing an enemy, extends the brimstone circle duration. Ooh, that just sounds good to me. I'll go for that. Fortunately, it does not work in this room. Guys are not too bad at all. Ah! 
Oh, man. He was speedy. I wasn't prepared. I always forget this guy, like, wakes up and starts chasing you. It's scary as hell. Okay. All good. Cool. Yeah, we're getting to cycle between some pretty interesting items here. Honestly, that's really cool. A brimstone ring for the start of a room. Honestly, we're going to take a ton of damage trying to use this. So I should probably only use it on certain enemies. Otherwise, we are going to perish. Yeah, this, it's not a good idea to use this on just any old enemy. I need to be using enemies that can't shoot, really. Or don't do anything when they die. Enemies like that, look. God damn it, stares around for a while, doesn't it? Holy. What, what, what are these guys? Okay, I don't actually have to kill them. Good. Um, I'll take random because it's higher quality. Or could be higher quality, and it was. Hey, yet another one of these bad boys. Lovely, lovely. But Kansas is really good for us here for the three soul hearts. Grab that. Fortunately, no. Quality three here. Um... This is tricky, because we could get two soul hearts, which is very nice. We could get a planetarium item, or we could get 99 bombs. I'm honestly going to go for the 99 bombs, I think, because we keep the 99 bombs forever, even if that item gets re-rolled. So I feel like it's the most, most worthwhile option, even though that seems a bit weird. It's just like, it's an item that gives us value once it's gone. Which isn't, there's no guarantee it'll go away, but there's a chance. Oh, what? Come on, dude. There you go. Don't be like that. Oh my god. Tricky bastard. Oh, dude, just die. There you go. He took his sweet, sweet time. But yeah, having 99 bombs, especially while they're butt bombs, pretty good stuff. Mum's contact is going really well with this uh, brimstone circle ring thing, by the way. Okay, at the minute, I am just bombing the ever-living hell out of him. It's just a lot easier. When he's turned into... Oh, God damn it! Okay, no, he's, he's, he's in last phase now. Oh, my God. I, I've not fought this guy enough to know how the hell he works, so... I'm going to take some damage to him, unfortunately. Yeah, a lot of damage to him, unfortunately. It's not a boss I'm familiar with at all. Some HP, not bad. Yeah, we are we are kind of sitting on the brink right now. We've been we've been sitting low HP for a while here, but hey, we got Grotto, nice. Don't know these enemies well enough to be getting in their face, really. Still got Dirty Mind. Got Mr. Spider Friend. Damn it, no passive items. I'm looking for passive items, please. Oh my god, oh my god. Haha, <laughs> that's so cool. And... We lost a level 1 item, so... I think plus three on the uh, the old golden hearts is pretty good here. Could bomb some of these, I guess. See if there's any treats lying in wait for us. Ow. Did get liberty cap, which I'll take, I think. Ah! Liberty cap's made us big. That double magic mushroom we got going on right now, then. I think it is. I don't mind a double magic mush. This is a fun, a really fun run. I'm really liking this item. This book is cool. I haven't seen it in a long time. It just kind of came up when I was trying to do the Eden run. In fact, it was like the second or third item. What I tend to do to, um, to like, find my items that I want to showcase on videos is I just play Eden. And I've got like 5,000 tokens and I just re-roll until I see something cool. And sometimes I'll go and like play an Isaac run or another character and then add that item in. Or sometimes I'll just keep on with Eden. See how we go. I mean, 
That's interesting. But I think I'm going to take Mother's Love here because this gives us an item on top of it. That we get to keep, I think. Right. Epidermolysis. Ooh, my god. Look at these big boys. Have I seen these guys before? I don't think I have. There's a kill switch under that one. He's the last guy I goddamn got. Where are the item room? I don't even know where it are. One more golden heart left. I'm guessing these guys are bomb only, right? I don't think so, actually. Oh god. A lot to keep keep a track of here. Is this secret room by any chance? Not. Okay. I thought it might be because that bomb thing was there. But we got lucky. Oh, I love this brimstone ring thing. Thank you, mushroom. I'll take that. Oh, we are tall boy now. Right. Let's get out of here. I'm going to do one more room so I can use my book one more time. For the boss fight. Quality 3. Poisons enemies in a small radius around Isaac. Honestly, I'm going to take that while I've got this brimstone ring. Because it just seems like fitting. Check in here for some health real quick. Nah. Okay. We go, we go. We got some sort of heart in here, apparently. Ah, it's the mega hearts. Okay, cool. That's pretty good for us. Right. It's boss time. So yeah, we poison and brimstone enemies in a close radius to us. I don't think I've fought this boss before. I don't recognize him. I'm going to kill him pretty quick, though. Dude, the poison's pretty good. I'm liking the poison a lot. It seems like pretty strong poison. Unfortunately, yet another quality one item. Not what we're looking for, but... Such is Isaac. It is what it is. Did we get a planetarium this floor? Oh, god damn. Did we miss an item room at some point? I don't know. Oh, this is a... This is a really good combo, actually, of having the poison... Um... With this brimstone ring. Plus succubus as well. There's a lot of passive damage going on in this run. I like that. A lot of damage that's just kind of happening to the enemies. Dude, the poison's so strong. I don't know what we lost there. The beginning is if it showed you what we lost. Um... I think I'm going to go for that, you know. Unfortunately, we got good old Kingpin. Luckily, he is very dead. Anti-grav. Hey, Pinhead. Probably take that as well for uh, one of the next floors. Look at the poison! <laughs> The damage it's dealing is obscene. I love it. Good, good, good. Got our planetarium. Ow. Good hit, good sir. Sta okay, so there's definitely been an update to one of the mods, because this is not working as it should. Go Uranus here. And... We're at the point now where it's hard to realize what we've lost. I'll take the bow and arrow, I guess. Oh, it's one of these rooms. Gosh darn you. Ow. 
take this. You know what? I'll also take that as well. Um, I guess we were consolation prize here. We're still poisoning. Lovely stuff. We even still got the devil deal as well. Another quality four, I'll take it. It's a bit risky, but I'm a risky guy. Skip this womb. I think we lost anti-grab, actually. We only had anti-grab for a very, very short amount of time. Okay, let's hope we don't die here. Unfortunately, we're into the next floor with one heart, which I'm not particularly enthusiastic about, especially considering I keep walking into enemies with my brimstone ring. I'm going to have to keep my distance. The bad enemy. The bad enemy to have. But arcade here is good. Unfortunately... Wasn't as good as I was hoping. Okay, I just, just hope that bombing these gives me half a heart. It gave me a sun car. That's that's just about as good. Right, we know where the boss is now. Let's beeline it. What on earth is this room? This 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 is a room that I want to bomb out of immediately. I'm not doing that the legit way. Nowhere. Oh, dude, this combo is great. Oh, I need to stop doing that, though. Okay. Let me go back and grab this. Don't know what I took there, but it's mine now. I didn't mean to grab it. Needs to be a bit of a period of cooldown between those. Really? I used my ice thing and it did literally nothing. Come on, buddy. Now, this is going to be where the, where we test ourselves here. Because, yeah, I just want to say, I get hit a lot on this fight. And it's, it's very, very easy to make misplays. So, apologies if I die. I will try my best not to, but I can make no guarantees. This this is the bit that really screws me most of the time. Yeah, because look, look, look why, why are the different rates... Really? Did you see that? Okay. We're, we're, we're good. We're good. We did it. We managed it. To the next floor. This has been a fun run. I like this book. It's cool. <clears throat> Only problem about something like this is I have no idea how to best thumbnail this. Like, to make it, like, clickbaity enough. <laughs> I hate to say it, but that's, that's just what YouTube is nowadays. You can't get away without clickbaiting. If it, like I said, I made like the, the most recent episode I put out about the card graveyard trinket. Now, I wasn't very happy with the thumbnail, and it really should, because that video did not do well. Like, at all. It did, it did like, abysmally poor. Um, compared to the one before. And it's just... It, that's just what YouTube's like nowadays. If you haven't got a super clickbaity thumbnail... Oh, we finally lost a quality 4 item. Um... Grant's flight creates a pitfall under the player that crushes rocks. If enemies come near the player, summon tentacles from a pit to attack them. Ooh, that sounds interesting with what we've got going on right now. Because we're getting close to enemies. Ooh, we died there. I said we're getting close to enemies, so having this do its thing as well seems cool. Oh, there's a tinted rock back there. I need to go grab that. I need to get really close from that pit to do its thing, though. Really? It had to be a golden chest, didn't it? Okay, we might die. Um, ooh! My saviour. Empty vessel gives us two black hearts. Yeah, the strat for this run is just get really, really up close and personal. Been working pretty goddamn well. Right. <clears throat> I don't want to get too close, but I do want to try and use my pitfall where I can.
Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, we got him, we got him. And I guess I'll take the poop bag. Unfortunately, we went every which wrong way, as per usual. Do you know, another great item to have for us here. Another close range thing, spinning the swords. I like it. Ooh, that rainbow poop was pretty, uh, pretty timely there. Eternal heart here is pretty good if we can keep it, but I doubt we can. Just get me the hell out of here. Beautiful. That's some good damage to bosses. As I said, wasn't planning on being able to keep it, and I couldn't. Oh, come on, why do I keep going the wrong way? Blood puppy. He's a G. Okay. Finally at the boss. Got the quarter out of that, randomly. Boom. Bit of extra seasoning for you there, good sir. And now we, we basically use mainly bombs to do our damage, because we don't have our brimstone ring at the minute. Where you popping up? There you are. Oh, that was stupid. Okay. We're now on the brink of death because I walked right into him, so I've got to be very, very careful if I want to live here. That's a very stupid bomb placement. I don't know. I'm not feeling super confident right about now. Okay, we got him. My golden heart isn't really what I needed right now, but there you go. Okay, down we go. Nothing crazy good here. Nothing's going to give us HP either, really. Fun guy. Actually, that gave us some HP. There you go. I told a lie. There was some HP in there. Okay. Now let's not go a million wrong ways. Take the tears up. Probably should have taken the waffle for the HP, actually, but, well. Whoa! That's a lot of cha-ching, cha-ching. I don't know if all of these were uh, thingy rocks. Money rocks. Don't think I need the money, but it's just cool to see. It's all heart there as well. Okay, the health is looking a lot better. Ah, oh, bugger. I press one of the buttons. My bad. <laughs> Never press buttons on the chest. It will always be terrible. Right, we got one more re-roll of items before we have to hop on in. And I'll take divorce papers because that's what I accidentally walked into. We actually keep the good items pretty much throughout this whole run, which is nice. Ah, you've got butt bombs too, do you? Well, mine are better. Mine are significantly better. Ah! He blasted it back at me with his own butt bombs. That was not part of the deal, good sir. Don't know what deal I'm referring to, but please don't do that again. A oh, holy poop. That's an interesting prospect for us here. Not going to be there for long, of course, but he did a bit of a job. He did something. Okay, he is dead. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Yet another good run, a lot of fun, and something pretty interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.